When I took this class as an undergraduate here at Utah State, from my father, Farrell Edwards, who is still teaching here, we were allowed to do labs uh, by proposal rather than going through all the cookbook labs. And my uh, proposal was to study binaural beats. Those are beats that your brain produces if you pre present uh, a certain frequency to your right ear, another very similar frequency to your left ear, there's a beating pattern that your brain produces. Um, you can also produce beats just by facing two speakers into a room, and we'll show you the demonstration here. The idea of a beat is when you have two slightly different frequencies, there's a wah-wah sound, there's a change in loudness. So here's the idea. If you have two tuning forks, one that's 440 hertz, Okay, so one that's 440 hertz and one that's 438 hertz. They're not quite tuned to each other. They're producing sounds of slightly different frequencies. So uh, the frequencies are different. The wavelengths are also different. Um, and sometimes you'll get constructive interference. Other times you'll get crest meeting trough and you get destructive interference. So what I'm not... Uh, what I'm thinking about in this graph here is the sound as a function of time, not as a, as a function of distance. So this would be the period between these two uh, bits here. The periods will be different, the frequencies are different, and therefore uh, this is period one, and this would be period two. Remember the period is the time between, a uh, time required for one complete cycle. So we're looking at what happens as a function of time here. So sometimes the, the peaks are meeting up, sometimes the valleys are meeting up. If you look at the actual pressure versus time here, then, uh, for example, right here and here, so these are the two signals with slightly different frequencies, those two points interfere constructively or destructively? Well, they're both troughs, and so uh, it's gonna, they're going to interfere constructively and add to an even lower trough. What about these two points here? Here's a valley, here's a peak. You're gonna get destructive interference and you're gonna get faint sound right here and loud sound here where there's constructive interference. See, this is constructive, this is destructive. Then we'll be back to constructive interference again right here. So what the sound looks like is it's a kind of a wah-wah. So what I just drew is kind of an envelope for the sound. Here the sound's going to be loud. Here the sound's going to be soft or faint. Loud again, soft again. Now your ear is not clever enough to pick up these very fast oscillations. These two guys are vibrating at 440 cycles per second. That's 440 cycles in one second. You can't possibly go, ba 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 ba. that's maybe three cycles per second. To do 440 is very, very, well, you can't with your own lips. So your ear doesn't actually pick up the detail inside of here. What it does pick up is this envelope. So what you'll hear with beats is wah, wah. At the same pitch the whole time, the pitch, the frequency is not changing. It's only the loudness. So what is beats? Describe the result of, of two overlapping waves with slightly different frequencies. That's what we have here. When two waves of slightly different frequencies overlap, the ear perceives the result as a single tone. So it's not going to sound like two different tuning forks at the same time. It's going to sound like one tuning fork but it's going to sound like a tuning fork whose loudness is changing with time. Not its frequency, but its loudness, how loud it is. Um, so it's the loudness that's, loudness that's varying with time, and that varies with time at the beat frequency. 
So wah, 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 that would be a beat frequency of about one hertz, about one cycle per second. And that beat frequency is given by the difference between these two frequencies. I can't remember if there's an actual derivation of this uh, result in the book. It's not too hard to do, um, but it's, it's a little bit painful, but it's a nice simple result. And I'm just asking you to, to know this simple result that the beat frequency is given by the difference between these two frequencies. So the beat frequency would measure, well the beat period would measure the time between these two loud points in the, in the sound and the beat frequency would be one over that time. So this would be the beat period, that's the time between two loud points and the beat frequency is one over that time. And be, musicians use beats to tune their instruments. Let me show you. Let's see. So when they're tuned, you can hear a nice steady tone that doesn't vary in loudness. But when you vary the frequency of one of them, even a little bit, then you get the following phenomenon. Can you hear a wah, 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 wah? Let me do it again. Wah, 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 wah. The farther these are from being uh, tuned, the faster the wah-wah pattern is. So these are even further out of tune. What I'm doing by moving this, this weight is lowering the frequency of this tuning fork and the other one is staying the same. And you should be able to hear a wah-wah-wah-wah-wah really fast. Wah-wah-wah-wah-wah wah, 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 really fast. Okay, that is the phenomenon of beats. So what we saw there is that the, the farther apart those two frequencies are, the faster the beat frequency is. And that's consistent with the statement in the fundamental concept, which is that the beat frequency is equal to the difference between the two frequencies. So, for example, here, I've got, um, what I'll play here is two frequencies, one that's 500 hertz and the other is 503. What would the beat frequency be? You say, that's the difference between the frequencies. 503 minus 500, the beat frequency should be about three hertz. Well, how does three hertz sound? Three cycles per second. That means we have to get through three complete cycles in each second, so it's gonna be wah, 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 pretty fast. Let's listen to it. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, about three beats per second. So what if we change this one to one thousand, one thousand, one just one beat per second now? What if we go up to So now, what's the beat frequency? It's the difference between the two frequencies. 510 minus 500 gives 10. So we're looking at 10 beats per second. It's a very, very fast beat pattern. And as you continue, uh, one thing I'd like to, uh, you can almost tell at this point that it's really two different frequencies. Almost. Um, when, when we're back here, with only, let's do uh, two cycles per second. Can you tell there are two tones? I can't. I don't think you can either. What it sounds like is a single tone whose loudness is varying with time. 
not its frequency. But as you get farther and farther away, as these two frequencies get farther and farther apart, there comes a point where you can actually tell for sure that there are two separate frequencies. That's almost a half step apart for those that have some musical training. So you can definitely tell there are two frequencies there. For sure you can tell that there are two here. There's still a beat pattern here, but the beat frequency is 60 cycles per second. Um, it, it, that's going too fast for your ear to pick up. And it is, in fact, no coincidence that kind of the threshold between where you can hear uh, where the beat pattern gets replaced by two separate tones is about 20 hertz. You should be able to hear a very, very fast beat pattern 20 times per second. Whoa, 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 really, really fast. But I think you should also be able to tell that there's two pitches there. The, um, and the reason is that that's no coincidence is that the, the ears, the lowest pitch the ear can hear is 20 hertz. And so 20 hertz actually happens to be the threshold between below which you can hear a beat pattern and above which you can hear two separate tones. Kind of neat.